For practice at exercise 2.19 window, we need to write a Java program that produces the following output. We're given the example output at a constant size of 3, but if we change our constant, it should grow larger and wider proportionally. To start this, we need a public class window. Inside of here, we will have our public static final constant, which will be an int, we'll call it size and set it equal to 3, and it's asking for this in the instructions. Next we'll have a public static void main for our main method, which is going to run everything. And this is just the syntax for our main method. In here we have a couple of different things that we need to deal with. First is this row of code, and we can do this using a for loop. So this outputs once and then it outputs a second time after this and then we have a plus sign in the front so before we um, run this we can just have a system dot out dot print and we can print out our first plus after this we can have a for loop int and we can call it times and set it equal to zero and times is going to run twice that way it prints out the equal signs and the plus two times. I'm going to do times plus plus. In this for loop, we will have a, another for loop that prints out the amount of equal signs. We'll call this int equals, and we'll set it equal to zero. We're going to run this as long as equal is less than size. And we'll do equals plus plus. And in here, we'll have a system dot out dot print. And in here, this is where we're going to print out our equals. After we print out our equals every single time, we are just going to print out our plus. So we'll have a system dot out dot print and uh, we will print out our plus like this. After all of this runs, we should have our first line here and then we need to have a print line so we can move down to the next line and we'll have this outside of our last for loop it'll be system dot out dot print line and we'll leave it empty so this should give us the first part of our code the first line of our code right here and if we submit this we can check it's not letting us check because we need more for loops which is fine so we'll just keep on coding and we're still going to be in our main method. We can move this down and we can write a for loop that'll output all of this. Since this only appears at the, it appears at the start and then we have a different line of code right here. Our, our output is different here than it is up here. So we need to print out this first line, which we did using this for loop. And now we can use a for loop to output this twice because we have this which we already coded and then we have this next part all of this repeated we have it right here and then we have it below as well so for the second part we need to have a for loop that runs twice so it can output all of this twice we'll say int and we'll call it box since it kind of looks like a box set equal to zero and we'll do box is less than two and we'll say box plus plus inside of here we have to print out our lines so we can say print like this and then next we will have our print then we'll have our plus equals plus equals plus in this first part we need a for loop because the size determines how many rows that we have. So we will say int rows equals zero. This is going to run as long as our rows is less than size. We'll do rows plus plus. In here, we need to have a line. So we'll do system dot out dot print. And then we will print our vertical line. Like this, and then after this, we need a for loop for our spacing. 
we'll call this space and our spacing d is d is dependent on how many um the how or how big the size is so we'll have a space has to be less than size and we'll do space plus plus and after our space is less than size we can or inner inner space is less than size we can print out a space just like this and then we can print out a line just like that and before we move on further it's important to note that although we have our size which is how many times this will output and we have our spacing right here we need to tell our code that this is only going to happen twice so it prints this out and then it goes to the for loop again and it prints this out so we have to cap these rotations at two and we'll do this after this line right here so we will indent this and we'll say for int and we'll call this runs because it'll run this side and then it'll run again and we have to cap this at two so we'll say runs has to be less than two and then we runs plus plus and then you'll have a bracket that closes after this and after we do run one run we'll have a system dot out dot print statement actually it's going to be a print line so that way it gives us a new line so far um, going over all of this we have our int rows equaling zero and rows has to be less than size in our rows is all of this next we have our spacing or actually we have a then we print out a line right here and then next we have how many times this next part will run which will be twice and then we have our spacing so we print out our spacing and after we print out the spacing we have a line and then we do that another time and then after we do that we will have a print line statement which will move us to the next line in fact this print line statement um, since we do this and then we break out of this loop and then we go back in this loop. actually it should be fine where it was and after this we need to start printing our um, plus equals plus equals and we can actually just copy this from here since it's going to be the same exact code and paste it right here we can move these over and then submit it seems that we are missing a parenthesis so we can just put one in here we need to make sure we initialize this to zero submit it again we can see that we have passed all of the tests